Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with Dale Collins of Tuckasegee Fly Shop. How's it going, Dale? Going well, Marvin. Love to be here and talk about some fishing. Well, that's awesome, and uh, I appreciate you making the time while you're hammering back home from a little bit time, uh, a little little bit of time on a vacation. Yeah, man, it was uh, it was tough not to break out a. A seven or eight weight, and uh, go go run along the beach, chase some snook down along the uh, the Clearwater coast. But it's always good to have some family time. Absolutely. Well, it looks like uh, the weather is like not into the dog days of summer. Looks like you're going to have pretty nice weather for the next couple of weeks in Bryson City. It's kind of cool with kind of scattered rain. Should make should make for good fishing. That, that's right. This is the wheelhouse for uh, Creek Tennessee, Great Smoky Mountain National Park, and and the, the blue lines along the uh, Jackson County Fly Fishing Trail. Uh, you, you get these uh, daily temperatures up around, you know, the mid low to mid eighties in the valley, and uh, you know mid seventies, the upper seventies, and the higher elevations. And at, at night, you know, that's that's the key temperature to watch. There is where. We've had some cooler weather come through again, and uh, just uh, over the weekend, we I think there were some places that bottomed out in the upper 30s, uh, actually, for overnight loads. So uh, yeah, that, that makes the bug life go crazy in the creeks, and just it really dynamic hatches, and, and the fish are happy. Yeah, and what should folks expect to see on the water, kind of in the park and on the tuck? You know, with, there, there are actually still fish in the tuck. Uh, in the Webster section and um, Bryson City section of the delayed harvest. So, you know, don't, you know, not fish those. Uh, give, them, give them a shot, especially in the morning, uh, first half of the day. Um, you know, fish fish nymphs there on the delayed harvest waters. There's still fish there. You can fish nymphs, dry dropper type stuff. But, you know, like I said, this is a wheelhouse for those, those smaller creeks like Deep Creek, the kind of lucky and places like that. Um, so, I would immediately start with a dry dropper uh, set up. Fish, fish a dry fly that's yellow and uh, you know highly visible, and maybe even higher floating than normal. And you can float a heavier nymph underneath that. And sometimes fish really enjoy seeing uh, larger nymphs suspended in the water column that normally they would see rolling over rocks. They get get a little happier this time of year when they see them higher in the water. So that's that would be my go-to right now. Gotcha. Any flies you like in particular? It, it's yellow Sally is still on, and uh, we're still seeing yellow caddis coming through. Uh, and you know, if you have to be fishing and a rain shower comes through, uh, kick over to the ant immediately. Uh, it, it's terrestrial season is upon us, so uh, the, uh, the the green weenies, little chartreuse uh, chenille worm. That's working really well right now, replicating the uh, worms, the sourwood worms dropping out of the trees. Uh, and those are those are high protein snacks. Those terrestrial hoppers and uh, beetles, those are high protein snacks for these trout, and they'll they'll take advantage of those guys getting knocked off the of leaves into the water. So uh, a lot of times, it's an easy uh, easy catch there. Absolutely, and I imagine we're just going to see the smallmouth bite just getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, early mornings, get out there, throw some top water stuff, and uh, as the sun gets higher, you can switch over to some sinking lines and streamers. Uh, the uh, white and blue poppers seem to be doing the best as we got plenty of damselflies moving around right now. Um, and then in the evenings too, that, that's kind of the the best times for the smallies, especially if you want to do some top water stuff. Uh, anything, any kind of top water. Uh, fly that's got any kind of rubber legs just drives the fish nuts and they just about eat the thing as soon as it hits the water. It's really so much fun, almost more fun than, than trout fishing, but be careful. Yeah, it'll ruin you. It, it'll ruin you. It's almost like spring uh, turkey hunting, right? That That's right. Absolutely. Well, listen, folks, if you have a question for Dale, be sure to, to shoot it to us on the Articulate Fly Facebook page. And if we read your question, we'll hook you up with some Articulate Fly swag. And before I let you get back to, uh, to driving on back home, uh, Dale, why don't you tell us where we can find you and what your shop hours are? So online, you can find us at tuckflyshop.com. And uh, you can find us on social media as well on all the major platforms there. Uh, you can email us or give us a call. Uh, located in downtown Silva and downtown Bryson City. 
Well, that's great, Dale. Well, listen, safe trip home, and everybody, you owe it to yourself to get out and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Thanks, Marvin.